Brad Biggs and Dan Weeder at Lambeau Field after the Bears hung tight through three quarters, got blown out in the fourth quarter, 26 to 10 loss. Now one and six on the season. I believe you came up with the stat earlier in the week. Now two and 10 since they won here on Thanksgiving night a year ago. Things not going the Bears' way. Bad news, Brian Hoyer, broken left arm. Kyle Long left the game with an arm injury, and he was very upset after the game, used a four-letter word that we won't use on this video to express his disappointment. Tough situation for the Bears. Yeah, they're backsliding. There's no way around it. As you mentioned, two and ten since that seemingly signature victory here last November. Tonight it was just a, an overload of injuries, an overload of, of guys that shouldn't be playing as many snaps as they are playing, and, and it all just adds up in the end. Obviously, they get the big play early in the third quarter from Leonard Floyd, an encouraging flash for the rookie to they show took the lead. his second sack. They, they take the lead there. After that, though, Aaron Rodgers, 20 for 24, 176 yards and three touchdowns, led three consecutive touchdown marches, and it was all over from there. Yeah, and the Bears were trying to cover uh, with Tracy Porter and a cast of uh, young players, and they were unable to do so. Leonard Floyd had a nice game, two sacks, but the pass rush, 56 dropbacks for Aaron Rodgers. Yeah was not where it needed to be. Those guys had to cover way too long. The Bears had 10 penalties for over 100 yards. Five of those penalties, Dan, on yeah. defensive backs. Yeah. And uh, it, it was just a mess. And, and it's not like Rodgers was that great. 39 of 56 Franchise for record, 39 completions there. Right, but he wasn't doing huge damage. No. But the Bears couldn't get off the field. The time of possession, uh, they had less than 21 minutes. It's the first time that's happened since a 2010 beatdown from the Patriots at Soldier Field. Uh, and you've got to be concerned now. Uh, if Cutler can't be ready for the Halloween game against the Vikings, it's the Matt Barkley show. What is the situation with Kyle Long, who's got a torn labrum in his left shoulder, was wearing a cast on his left hand. We don't know if it's the left arm or right arm. Uh, I'm not even going to guess. I don't, I don't know that it's that big of a deal to us right now, but it, it's significant because your, your lineman's banged up. Well, and other opening day stars that weren't out there tonight, Josh Sitton, Eddie Royal, Jeremy Langford, Jay Cutler, Kevin White. The list goes on. They just keep adding new guys to the injury list week after week. As you mentioned, the offense was anemic tonight. Three points on eight possessions, two turnovers, both Barkley interceptions. You hate to think of what will happen if they have to send Mark, Matt Barkley out there against the Minnesota Vikings defense on Halloween night. Uh, that could Vikings, get really, really Yeah, The Vikings have been injuring players, not just beating teams this year, they've been hurting guys. Uh, so here's the deal. They've got a long stretch now, 11 days until they play again. Maybe an opportunity for Cutler to get back, some of these other guys to get back before they go into a bye. Uh, they've got to focus on trying to get better because uh, at one and six, uh, you know, this season's yeah. not going anywhere, but they're going to build to the future. Yeah, the only thing you look at now is one game in the next 23 days. You try to get as healthy as possible coming out of that bye, and maybe you can get some sort of encouraging momentum after the bye. Right now, one and six. Zach Miller said it tonight three times on the primetime stage, three times they've been embarrassed this year. Right. So, it, you know, we will find some positive stuff for you at ChicagoTribune.com. Stay with us this weekend and the next week. There will be something, I promise.